I'm practice the cactus. Who are you? I'm practice the cactus. Who are you? Hi, I'm practice the cactus. I'm going to tell you about the practice theory. It's a theory that everything we know is because we practiced it. And everything we feel is because we practiced it. Everything we want is because we practiced it. Everything we believe is because we practiced it. If you're not sure about this, keep your eyes on the cactus. Could it be possible that every single little thing you're doing, you're practicing? And when I say practicing, I mean getting more comfortable with it. When you think about something, the more you think about it, the more comfortable you get with it. And once you get so comfortable with something, it just feels right. I have a thinkometer. It goes from 1 to 10. My thinkometer measures how hard I think. When I start a new skill, my thinkometer is at a 10 because it's working hard. And as I practice something and I become more comfortable with it, my thinking power goes down. So it starts at a 10, then it might go down to a 5 when I'm a little comfortable, then it might go down to a 1. That's when I'm really good at something. You see, the practice theory might help us. It might help us change our behaviors if we want to. It might help us learn some new skills or change some negative behaviors just from knowing that we practice them so much we want to do those things. Let's look at a chart. First, you're uncomfortable when you start a new skill. That's the first stage of practice. Next is the semi-comfortable stage, where things become a little more comfortable. Third is the comfortable stage. Now you've practiced something so many times, it just feels right. Now, when something feels right, we have to know that it's only because we practiced it, not because we have to go out and do it. But if it's a good thing, we can keep doing those good things. As we practice, our thinking power goes down. You could say you start at a 10 on a 1 to 10 scale, with 10 being the most thinking. It takes a lot of thinking to do a new skill. As practice goes up, thinking power goes down. As you get more comfortable, you're training your thoughts to go into a habit. Once you train the thoughts into a habit, you're comfortable with it, and you feel like you just want to do it. So knowing this, you don't have to. You can practice using self-control. Practice using that skill until you don't need any thinking power. When I say thinking power, I'm talking about the effort used for thinking. So next time you practice something, think about your thinkometer and how much thinking effort you're using. Here's an interesting thought. Newton's laws of motion say that once an object is set in motion, it stays in motion until acted upon by an equal or opposite force. What if behaviors acted the same way once they became a habit? What if they didn't change until acted upon by an equal or opposite behavior? So you need to practice the opposite behavior sometimes enough, not just a little, if you want to make a change. So if you want to change your behavior, sometimes you can practice the opposite skill. It's hard at first, but gets a little easier each time as your thinking power goes from 10 down to 1 or nothing. Then you'll be very comfortable with the new skill. So remember, everything you're doing, you're practicing. Make sure you check out my other videos where I apply the practice theory to many different topics. And the next time you practice, remember the cactus. Do something for the first time. You may not like it now, but you win a good time. Then you gotta do it again, over and over and over, my friend. Last but not least, 
when it's second nature is when you can't sleep It's time to right the wrong That's why I'm singing the practice song